Hello and welcome to another video of this SVA Design YouTube channel. I'm Shakir Feldbaum and in this video I will start with the body panels and the body design and everything. And in this video I won't really do a lot of separate body panels and everything. I will just design the complete car um, in one file basically with just, um, yeah, with just body panel designs and everything, surfaces. And uh, later on I will probably do some um, some separation between different parts and different body panels and everything but I just wanted to keep it simple for this video to basically show you how uh, surface modeling works in SOLIDWORKS so the first thing that you need to do or that I always do is that you go to the um, options but you click this tab right here click on customize and you need to get um, this surfaces this you check that box for um, the surfaces tool and that, that will give you this tool box right here with just things to use and everything so uh, yeah that is a very important thing that you will need second of all uh, is that you open a new part and I already made a part so this body but if you are in assembly you can in assembly also open a new part and you just select insert components and you go to new part and in my case I already did that and I saved it as body and I click add in component so for now I can just start with the design of the car and um, just to make everything easy on myself with the colors and everything I will just um, give everything on this like carbon fiber and just a bit a little bit weird in colors and everything I will just make that white for now so select the body again and click on edit component so what I do is usually I select this surface on the wheel and I um, select the plane so I just search planes and just created a slight offset between that wheel and the surface and as you can see it's like 10 millimeters because the tire will kind of stretch outward and um, yeah just select plane cool so now we have this plane to work on we can just select this circle we can just start a new sketch on that plane and then we can select this circle and cl click on the convert entities so now we got that line we can um, fix that line so that it won't really move anywhere and we can also select offset entities and let's say we make a gap of 20 millimeters behind between the wheel and the fender for now and I also want the right out of the car to be something around uh, 10 centimeters for now and we also will be able to lower the car and to make it uh, to also get an extra camber angle and everything but for now will be like 100 millimeters and then we can trim entities and select and just cut off all the lines that we won't really need for the fender line so that is just you will end up with just that one line right there second thing to do is to go to this surface right here click on sketch and again click click on that line conflict preferred entities and then we can start with the first bit of surface modeling that you will do and that is to uh, select this surface aloft and click on this line also click on this line and click on ok so now that we have this surface uh, we also need to do that for the rear of the vehicle so uh, again click on plane so now that we have the fenders we can just start on uh, starting on the body the sound of the car so uh, again I will need to make another plane and uh, this plane will basically be the center line of the complete car so for that I will select this line right here and just use that as some sort of a template to uh, yeah to create the car body or just the center line for the car and this line by the way I already drew up but it's just a regular the roof line for the car so I think that I don't need to really go in depth and explain how I did that it's pretty simple so again select that plane click on sketch and uh, select that line and click on convert entity so this will be the first line of the car that we will use to kind of make the car body the second line that I need to also really to make every, all of the components fit with each other is off of this uh, off of the roof structure in the car so I will need to go to uh, the roof structure and once you are at the part for the roof structure then I should go to uh, the surface that is created here and I just designed it recently so that's why I know where it is so when I'm back at the body I can select edit component click on sketches again and click on convert entities so now I can select that line and man, that that's what we needed 
so now we can start working on the, the actual hood of the car so again I click on 3d sketches and select uh, let's pick the top view because I kind of need to know where that line is headed select this point and you can see this line right here so I need to kind of make something that is a, a similar shape with that part right there still need to figure out a little bit how I want the curvature and everything to be so and at the same time I also want it to be pretty minimum in uh, just the space that it takes on so uh, yeah So for this nose, I would make it a little bit sharper. And again, click on the side view and from this line, just drag a line that goes up to about here. And then from, let's use this angle. We can just make the spline go all the way up and also a little bit over I think it needs to be a little bit over the top so because there will be the wishbone will be sitting there so you would need to create some space for that so um, it needs to be a little bit directed upward something like that but nah that's a little bit too much I think it's still we would be still good at about there but you can see the attachment points for the suspension and everything is right there so uh, this would be good So now that we got that first line set up, um, yeah, we can just start with the surface modeling and everything. And I'm still debating myself, that's why I'm kind of hesitating on to make maybe a, a line that goes from this point right here to this point right there. So we can create some elevation changes and everything in the body panel. But uh, I don't know if that is something that I would want to do. But we can. You can play with it around a little bit if you don't need it later on and we just take it out for now let's just see how it works with the rest of the car back so this is basically what you continuously do continuously are doing when you're making these surfaces and everything continuously like changing the lines and setting them up a little bit different and this is also pretty important for the aerodynamics because let's say that I did use this guideline to kind of um, use use this like guideline to create an air current that is uh, directing air to the sides of the car instead of over the roof to create less lift on top of the car. So that's basically something that you could do. So then I could take this line and drag it onto something like this. And then if I exit this surface, then you could kind of see that um, that line will be kind of in the hood as some sort of a crease in the bonnet to um, direct air to that side but I didn't really check it properly to um, to create it a little bit from from the side it's kind of down I think so that you would need to from all three angles look at it properly So, like this, it's uh, a little bit more. But then you can see there's like weird elevation changes so that you would need to alter those lines and everything. So that is, that's basically all you do in this process. And I think now we have something that would look good on the car. So uh, that is that's basically the process that you're going through, continuously changing shapes and everything. So uh, to get it where you want it to be. So for the next line, I will start making a fender. And to do this, I need to make another plane that goes basically through the center of the wheel. So now we got that. Um, we will just use like a front view to look at it head on and click sketch and use again the spline tool. And the spline tool will become a pretty important part. And we will use convert entities to kind of select this line so you know have to have a starting point and then we can select this spline tool again so um, 
so to create an efficient uh, wheel fender to move through the air and to not waste any frontal space you would kind of need to make uh, a limit where it can't really go any higher so for me my wheel will not ever be able to travel more than like 100 millimeters so for me that is where the limit will sit and where it can really go uh, up more and then you can basically select the spline tool and uh, yeah start drawing the shape for the wheel fender and I will go a little bit above it because I need to make a higher point because I want it to go down gradually so uh, for design wise I sacrifice a little bit of aerodynamics but that is not too bad and then just select those ba basic points and um, also because this is a front wheel and it will also be turning on its axle so you need to make it a little bit wider than it would be in a regular situation than the rear perhaps and then you can um, yeah just draw the lines that it will kind of follow and maybe it's even better to start with um, the line that will be on this surface right here so so the next thing that I will do now that I've got a couple of basic fender lines is go to the spline tool again but first select 3d sketch and then you can select um, spline on surface so that it will basically you can select this surface for right here for instance and you can just make something that will be constantly attached to the surface so uh, yeah so I want uh, the line for the uh, fender to kind of attach to the hood right here and I will kind of need to make from the top view I wanted to have some curvature to it so I will select put it there put that somewhere there and make something like that and I'm gonna drag this sketch underneath that one so then the surface the software will kind of think that you start later on that one so now we can start to add some shapes to this fender alright so the next piece that I will do is um, basically the front line of the car and it will be from this point right here up to the fender but there will be a couple of um, yeah just midway points basically in there so I will need to basically make this twice I guess so um, from the front uh, it won't go down like that but so it will something, something be like this and then it will be way more rounded and not attached to that point but some more, more like there something like that so um, from the top view it needs to be like way rounder so we're basically maybe a little bit of the same angle that is going on here and from the side we need to make it a little bit something like that so this is basically the shape of it but then we also need to make a cut in because the headlight design will kind of interfere with the shape right here so then we need to go up a little bit and from that point So now that we got uh, this line set up right here that will kind of be the start of the uh, fender and also where the headlight will sit in this area and we also have just the basic overall shape of the fender we also need to end it so we need to have some shape that will um, basically just cap everything off so to do that I will again just go to this file and start editing that file click on sketch 3d sketch and then um, probably in, in and then probably in this general area we'll start the line and maybe from the top view we can just start to modify it so then we'll basically go up in this direction do the same thing again and so maybe have a little bit more come up back in again because we also need to fit that door right there so and then um, and then probably just attach that right there so
And the next step will be to basically connect the, the dots and just to connect all the points together with each other where they uh, belong, where they're supposed to be. So you can uh, again go to 3D sketch and from this point you can basically see that on that is basically this point on that line and it will flow through this point right here. Or maybe a little bit early before that point. So let's make it like that. So okay, um next step is to kind of check from the side view that you always want the peak of that line. So the highest point is right here somewhere, but you always want the highest point to be directly above the uh center of the wheel. So that is something that we need to change. And that is not for aerodynamic purposes or anything, but that is just aesthetically the most beautiful in my opinion. Um and then this line needs to be a little bit less shallow. Uh steep, a little more shallow, so to make it a little flatter uh, and just do that all around so it trim it down a little bit to make it a little bit slimmer and again make that perfectly flat and the same goes for this one right there So uh, yeah, now becomes comes the big part of really adding everything together, and that is what we can do again with the surface. And you select this line, also select this line, and then also select this line. And as you can see, it already basically did everything. But then we have these guidelines to kind of help it out a little bit. And the final one, no, the second to last one, we still also have just a circle on the wheel and it is basically all that it is to it okay so um yeah that is basically the first part of this video and now i'm thinking about changing this line and moving it a little bit more towards the edge of it but um i'll see later on how that works so that is this is basically all there is to it when it comes to surface modeling and i really don't like the way this looks so i might just I don't, I don't know what I have to do with that, but just, just this line right here, I think I need to change that and move it a little bit more towards the center. But I'll do that in my own time and won't keep you guys up any longer. So um, that is basically everything there is to it when it comes to surface modeling. And then in the later process, I will show you how to actually give this some thickness and to be also able to um, do way more stuff with it later on in the process. So thanks for watching. Please leave a like or subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm Shikifel Bomb and I'm out.